Hi everyone, I'm Frank from the City of Kings and today I'm going to be showing you our character sheets. We've been working on these for over a year, I would say 18 months at least now, from the first original design that was a little hand sketch, boxes, numbers and that was all, to now a beautifully designed final version of our character sheet. Now each character in the game is going to have their own unique sheet and whilst the majority of it's going to be the same, the stats will be the same, the worker area, the action area will be the same, the equipment area is the same, the skill tree will be completely unique for each character and of course the artwork will be changing. So to run over the character sheet quickly, there are five core areas. In the top right hand corner you will see the stats area. In the bottom right corner, you'll see the action area and the round summary. Just above that, you'll see the worker section that has the worker stats and the worker storage area. In the central column, you'll see the equipment slots. And then in the bottom left corner, the skill tree. So let's just have a brief overview. The stats area, where your health is obviously how much damage your character can take. Your attack is how much damage you do, and healing is how much you can restore. You can heal yourself and other players. Range is how far you can reach. So this is based on tiles on the board, and whether you're attacking or healing, the range decides how far you can reach when performing that action. Movement is how many tiles you can move, and luck is the randomness for those people who like to roll dice. So when you attack or you heal, you will always be doing an exact number. If I have five attack and I hit a creature, I will do five damage. Likewise, if I have healing of two and I heal a hero, then they'll restore two health. Luck allows you to roll some dice or add random numbers and potentially big numbers or small numbers to that number. So you can continue to keep pushing attack up and know that you're going to get a certain amount. Or you can go down the randomness factor and give it a bit of a chance and hope that you roll high at the right moments. The worker stats movement is how far your worker can move because you do control two independent characters. You have your hero and then you have your worker. Your worker can move around gathering resources and scavenging at enemy bases. The gather and scavenge stats impact how good they are at performing these tasks. Your worker can hold six items and as you progress through the game you can unlock a second worker who also can hold six items. You can see in the action area that in your turn you're going to have four actions that you can place into any of these circles. Different characters have their own actions so worker one and two can move, explore and work and you could move twice with worker one and twice with worker two and that would be your four actions or you could do some hero actions and worker actions or just hero actions. It's important to note that the workers are independent characters so once you've got your second worker you'll have three characters on the board that you can move around. The actions are movement for moving, exploring for turning over tiles, attack and heal for damaging creatures and restoring health to heroes, specials which refer to the skill tree, and interactions for picking up quests, riding horses, buying items, and all those little things that you think are probably an action, they're always going to be an interaction action, my favourite type of action. And finally the workers their move and explore are the same, and they can do work, and work covers gather, scavenge, and building. As well as collecting resources, your workers can use those to repair damaged structures and build up strongholds to take your own presence on the board. As we said with the equipment, you have four slots. The head and the arm slots you have to unlock, but you will always be able to use legs and bodies. The head you unlock when one of your primary stats gets to either eight for health or your attack and heal get to five and your arms unlock when either attack and heal get to 7, or your health gets to 10. When you equip an item, you'll increase your stats to match, so your stats will never go above the numbers shown on the character sheet. The skill tree we do talk about in another video, 
but in its essence, you'll be working up the skill tree, placing skill desks in each tier. As you get to the top of the tier, you'll take a skill card from the temple, place it on the slot, and continue upwards. You always start at the bottom, but you can start again, so you don't have to always connect to the same line. As you get to the third tier, again another card from the temple, place it on, and keep placing those skill discs. As you place them onto slots, you will add those stats to your character's stat area to show the gain that you've received, and you can choose one skill from each tier. Each tier has four skills, so by the end of the game, you'll have three unique skills to match the stats to really allow you to specialise in any way you like. Now, of course, what this means is every time you play the game, you're going to have such a different experience. There's so much customization. Each character has 12 different skills. So not only are you gonna have different experiences with your one hero, but as you try the different ones, you're gonna get more and more combinations. We've been working on this for a long time. We have had so many iterations, and you can see on the screen just some of the journey that we've been on. We've talked to designers, we've talked to user experience professionals, we've worked with playtesters and game designers. We have even talked to my mum to try and get this as well thought out as possible. So much has gone into this and we would really like to get your feedback, your thoughts, so we can continue to iterate and make any minor changes that might be necessary before we get to publishing. Thank you for watching and I really look forward to hearing your thoughts and comments down below.